Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson mathematics. Uh, we are going to look at temperature. We have got some things that one needs to understand. One, increase in temperature is a rise. A decrease in temperature is a drop. Final temperature is denoted with F. Initial temperature is I. Uh, melting point is zero degrees, which is the same as freezing point, which is zero degrees. Boiling point is equals to 100 degrees Celsius, and uh, it is the same as evaporation point or vaporization point, which is 100 degrees. There are some few formulas one needs to put also in mind. One is a rise in temperature is equals to F minus I. Remember we said F is final temperature and I is initial temperature. A drop or decrease in temperature is I minus F, which is the opposite of the first one. Remember I is uh, initial temperature and F is uh, final temperature. We can also come up with other few formulas from the first one. From the first one, we can get two formulas. The first one, final temperature can be written as I plus the rise, which is rise in temperature or increase in temperature. And I, which is the initial temperature, can be final temperature minus the rise. So using the increase in temperature or the rise, we can have those two formulas. Also, the same can apply on drop. That is the second formula up here. So we can have I to be final temperature plus the drop or F to be I minus the drop, which is the initial temperature. Basically, after understanding the few concepts that we have just laid down, there are some examples that I'll carry you through before giving you the assignment of the day. Uh, when you look at the sample of my questions here, we have got question one. The temperature of frozen water was negative uh, 15 degrees Celsius. It was warmed to 72 degrees Celsius. What is the rise in temperature? We have said initially that rise in temperature is equal to F minus I. From our question, our F is 72, our final temperature, and our I, or the initial temperature, is negative 15 degrees Celsius. So, from the first, form, from the formula F minus I, we shall have 72 minus negative 15 degrees Celsius. Remember the concepts we learned in class where we said negative times a negative is a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. A positive times a positive is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. Using the same concept, we shall have a negative and a negative will give us a positive. Therefore, we shall have 72 plus 15 degrees, which will give us 87 degrees and that is our answer. The second example, we have the temperature of... A liquid was 88 degrees Celsius. The liquid was cooled at the rate of 3 degrees Celsius per minute. What was the temperature of the liquid after 12 minutes? We know that from the question... Uh, I is equal to 88 degrees Celsius. That is the initial temperature. So to get the drop, because we have been told it was cooled. Cooled, it's a drop. Therefore, our drop shall be the rate. That is 3 minutes, 3 degrees per minute. For how many minutes? For 12 minutes. So we shall multiply. 3 times 12, we shall get 36. And 36 degrees Celsius is the drop. So to get the final temperature, we shall have I minus drop which is 88 minus 36 and gives us 52 degrees Celsius and that is our answer. The third and last example, we have water was heated at a rate 
of 5 degrees Celsius per minute for 4 minutes and allowed to cool at a rate of 3 degrees Celsius per minute. What was the original temperature? Uh, what was the original temperature of water if its final temperature if its final temperature was 70 degrees Celsius after 10 minutes so in this question I remember I gave you last time to handle the question so it provoked me to come up with this lesson so in this question you realize we have got two cases a rice and a drop so after four minutes we shall have a rise of five degrees per minute so the rise will be five times four it gives us 20 degrees celsius and since the total time is 10 minutes the drop will take on after six minutes that is the one for the rise take away the total which will give us six minutes therefore the total drop shall be since it's a rate of three minutes uh, three degrees per minute we shall have six times three it gives us 18 degrees celsius and that will be the drop so this question has got two cases and we have been given 70 degrees celsius as the initial we have got a rise and a drop we know that to uh, we have been given f as 70 degrees we know that i is equals to f minus the rise or I is equals to F plus a drop. Since we are using the rise and the drop, we shall combine. When we combine, we shall have I being equal to F plus the drop minus the rise. That is following both mass. Add first, then subtract. So we shall have 70 minus 8 plus 18 gives us 88. Then subtract 20, which will give us 68 degrees Celsius. Thank you for today. And I shall be forwarding uh, the exercise that you need to do from mental math on temperature. Thank you and have a good evening.